When you switch to a new patient and wish to continue working with a CVI, follow the next steps to switch from one case to the next while using the same multi-use syringe. Step 1. Take the system out of inject mode by pressing cancel. Step 2. On the touchscreen, press end case, then press OK. Important. All case data is cleared when the case is ended. Step 3. Select No when prompted to shut down. Step 4. Select No to start a new case with the current syringe. Step 5. Slide and close the white contrast clamp. Step 6. Remove all the single-use consumables including patient tubing, stopcock, saline tubing, saline bag, hand controller and manifold. Step 7. Remove the green disinfecting cap from the strip. Push and twist the cap on the end of the syringe's male lure connection until the cap will turn no further. Allow the cap to remain securely in place for a minimum of 5 minutes. Step 8. Press OK. Load new manifold. To remove the syringe, follow the next steps. Step 1. Disarm the system from the inject mode by pressing cancel. Step 2. On the touchscreen, press end case, then press OK. Step 3. Select No when prompted to shut down the system. Step 4. Select Yes to start a new case with a new syringe. Step 5. Slide and close the white contrast clamp. Open the syringe chamber. Remove and discard all consumables including contrast, syringe, saline bag, hand controller, patient tubing and manifold assembly. Then close the syringe chamber. Step 6. Press restart. Important. The A1000 and A1000V syringe is indicated for single use only. Syringe replacement is required after every case with persist CVI systems. Always select a new syringe for a new case. Press Start on the control panel. Select Cardiac Procedure Mode. Once the procedure type is selected, the CVI system will perform a routine in order to calibrate. Step 7. System is now ready to load a new syringe for the next procedure.